Hello beautiful subscribers, I'm so happy to see you. Today we'll review throw away over sway. We will explain you steps, Dima will help me to show you and then I'll also will give you some tips about technique. So how we do throw away over sway? So you stand on the right foot and you lower your right foot your knee. Then you use that pressure from the floor and go to almost straight knee. It feels like straight knee, but instead of walking your knee backward, it's slightly soft. But you stretch your thigh fully, that's why it feels very straight. So from bend and thigh fully here and shape is to the left. And as you see, our feet actually open. So this toe is directed that way. And the left toe we directed already uh, to oversway and we have shaped to the left. Let's show from that uh, side. So turn backwards, bend back, more, 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 and then we go up and our shape stays to the left, yeah? So stretch your thigh fully, make sure that you have open feet. After that, you lower, uh, lower in the knee you will have like a couple actions going at the same time. At the same time, you switch angle of your hips, so you have that rotation. Here you direct this hip down, but at the same time, this hip going, not going to the side a lot, yeah? So you direct this hip down, but this hip stays stable. Then at the same time, you kind of also create little tilt forward, because go will sit on that, not sit basically on the hip, but will take that gap. And you do rotation and little sway from that side. So you see, we direct this hip that way, so our left will slide a little bit, yeah? So we have rotation and sway. And at the same time, we have these hips. So this left tries to stay long, so we're not like sliding it close here, yeah? but it's okay if it go a little bit relaxed. So this knee is not fully straight, we lower it, we, we soft it a little bit, soft it a little bit, but yeah, we keep that line this way. And here what's important, don't try to overdo or sway throw away with your elbows and also don't turn your shoulders too much that way. So overall this um, move directed diagonally. Okay, let's show from that side, from backward. So we lower in the knee, then we go up, we shift to the left, and here we go down, and at the same time we first start to lower, and then when we continue we start to rotate and make a sway. So what happens to our head? We keep top of the head on the same point, and we just turn, switch our chins, uh, we don't need to think specifically like turn our chin, we just connect our head with our sternum, yes, and then when we change our sternum, when we change all the hip sides, it changes um, the whole body, so you don't need like specifically turn your head anyway, yeah. And also, guy feel that he turned that side and extended. Also, it's very important to feel that you're not opening arms that way. Yeah, so you still keep this tight and direct and shape that way forward that diagonal. Okay, so girl steps. Uh, so she has like a soft knees here, then she make a step this way. It's also on the almost on the fully straight leg. Um, still knees a little bit soft, but what we feel that we stretch this thigh fully and sometimes girl can pick up the heel a little bit. Yeah, it depends um, what you want. If like guy is going like high a lot, but what you really need to feel is your weight stays on the ball's foot. So we go from here up, then what she's doing, she's closing her feet and turn uh, her standing foot diagonally like that. At the same time, she closed her free leg. Yes, and at the end of this action, she lowered the knee. Then starting from here, 
she will direct this right hip right hip to his hip and at the same time she will move this leg free leg that way you kind of connect this together hip and leg so hip going that way leg going this way and it goes together so what you need to think that your leg is not going backward that way because it's not connected you direct like connecting is a one line so if your hip is going to his hip uh, then leg going slightly to the side but it still will look that it looks like to this side just backward yeah so uh, think about this you go to straight almost straight knee of course it's not like that way yes yeah? so you soften the knee knees then you turn put hip down and then you do, uh, really push 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 what then happen next um, then girl start to also do sway and rotation but she's not doing that by herself she just uh, reflects what guy is doing and then what's really important not to turn shoulders away keep shoulders to him yes and we can go lower and and boy can extend rotation if he wants so for beginning i recommend you not to overturn a lot because um even for like classic look you can keep it that way or you can overturn but with overturn it's harder to keep it naturally like in the right alignments so that every everything stays in the right place yeah um, so let's do it again go up then turn your feet then direct your hip then side then head is the last thing this is turning and you see i direct it this way my arm he directs this arm this way and if we put our arms it's here make sure that you're not overdoing here so girl's foot need to stay on the inside edge of the foot but heel is staying up and the same for boy yes yeah? so it's not like here it's inside edge and it's a, that's why our knee is slightly soft let's show from the backward so we go up down switch keep open open okay and so to music you can do this um, different you can have different like timing the original one you go one two three one two three and then you can go for example to the prominent in here so uh, let's actually play some music this one two three one two three one two three yeah or if for example you did like a telemark and this step is on three yeah one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can do just, for example, go into the prominent a little bit slower. Or you can exaggerate and do almost like throwaway like very long, yeah? And then you can also do the Roman slopes. Yeah, so you can do just like that. And there are different entrances, like entrances. You can go like from here and do like kick again. You can go like to lunge. You can go like to same foot lunge. You can go to different like kind of promise to um, Rudolph's. So to a lot of stuff, yeah? The most common entrance like to or like throw throwaway is to through telemark and if you're wondering how this move looks like or if you know how it looks like but you want to know more technique aspects let me know down below in the comments and i will record a video for you so thank you guys for watching this video till the end give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos bye bye